Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm talking to you. All right, before we move on to the review today, go down there and hit some links. I got some shirts to sell. I can follow me on Instagram. You can follow my uh, Facebook page. Do all that good stuff. I really appreciate that. And guess what? It's New Transformer Day. Yeah. New Transformer Day. Mm, don't get better than that. Well, it could get better, but let's just go with that. We got Decepticon Brawl, Studio Series, number 12. There he is. All right, flip around if you want to read that. Freeze frame it. All that good stuff. All right, let's open this puppy up. See how this little fella is. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all doing well. I'm doing all right. It's Monday. Mmm, so fresh and so clean, clean. Mmm. Get that puppy out. Look at some other stuff. Guess what, folks? Instructions. And, oh, cool. It's the little scene from the first uh, movie. It's pretty cool. That's a Michael Bay picture. If you can't say anything else about it, it's a Michael Bay picture. Wow. Explosions. All right, here's Brawl. All right, I'm going to cut the little ties. I'll be right back. Ta-da, and I'm back. All right, here he is. On the side. On the back. And from the other side. All right. He comes with two uh, side cannons that I guess they fit on his arms. And you got this. Little thing. No, it's no paint or anything, but you can move up and down. It's pretty cool. And you got this little thing, which got some nice silver paint, some rocket launchers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Very nice. All right, well, let me uh, mess around with this guy. He's got an uh, ugly face. <laughs> I'm going to mess around with this guy, transform him, do all that stuff. I'll be right back, tell you what I think of him. Ta da! Now I'm back from transformation. All right, here's the tank mode. It's fine. I, mean, I like it. It's all right. You know, there's some issues with it. Um, you don't have to have these top, you know, on here. You can move these. You got that like that. Um, I forgot to mention on this one with the claw, which looks kind of goofy up here anyways. Um, you can take off this little Gatling gun right there, and you can put it on top also if you want to do that. And there he is. And these little things are on ball joints. You can move them up a little bit. This one pops off a lot on me, so um, I may have to put some fingernail polish or something on there. But um, this can move side, to, you know, from all the way around. I'm really bummed that you can't move the the turret at all, and they don't go up or nothing. They should have made it where you can move it up or something. That's all. I, and then this part back here just doesn't look. It looks, you know, incomplete. Like it won't go all the way down. Like I wish it tabbed. Um, that was it, that's his hands when in, in robot mode. So it just looks, you know, it's just sitting up there, kind of like like that. So I wish. They would have at least tabbed that in or something, or at least you could have made, you know, at least moved this. You know, this one, it, it don't even move at all, and then you can't move that up or down. So that's a, that's a bummer. I love the camouflage, the different, you know, the different greens. That looks good. These can move up and down and whatever how you would want to. Would be cool if they would have painted those. That would have been neat. Um, and you got some barrels in the back. Uh, doesn't really clean up. It's got some. You can see his whole body, but. Yeah, it's got that little gap and everything. I kind of wish they would have painted the, the wheels. That would have been pretty cool. And you got the black. It's kind of shiny. It looks like there's a little finish on it. Looks pretty decent. But I wish they would have painted them maybe, um, a, you know, a silver or something. That would have been pretty cool. But, yeah, so there's the tank mode. You know, it's it's fine. It's not, You know, it's movie accurate. You know, and then you got the darker green up here. So I like the camouflage color. The paint on it is really nice and everything. So, yeah, there he is like that. And back again, and from the side. So there he is. There he is next to Crapagonics, next to a little can of peas and carrots, and next to a cooking utensil, some kind of shredder. 
Ta-da! Back from transformation. And transformation is pretty neat. I like it. It's pretty cool. The arms are kind of a weird kind of way, but the arms look weird anyways on this guy. Um, yeah, and that face. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it's like... He looks like, you know, this guy right here. So yeah, it's, it's fugly. You know, it, it goes side to side. Down a little bit, not much at all, but he can look down a little bit. Um, it just... It looks like you know when you wake up and you got that good sleep, you know, and you get that big old drool coming down your side of your face and everything. He just looks like that. Like he has, he should have drool coming down. Like he's taking too many pills. He just, Ooh. that's what his face looks like. But it's not silver skull. You know, it's it's accurate. You know, to the film and everything. So that's cool. You got these things up here on top. You can move that around there on uh, ball joints. Like I said, this one is really loose on mine. I have to touch it up a little bit. Uh, you can move these up and down too back here in the back for the arms. They look weird. They look wonky. I mean, they really do. You can go up all the way up to here. And then you can move your, this, you know, can go up side to side like that. It goes all the way around. It's like he missed uh, shoulder day. That's what he basically did. He's got big, you know, this kibble right here. I really don't like this kibble. It's it's really, you know, stationary hands. You can put these uh, side guns in, your, in the hands too, but I like them on side better. But he has a bicep swivel. And like I said, you know, it can bend like that for the elbow but he's also got this little hinge right here too so it's kind of weird you can hold it like that all that stuff so i don't know just a weird looking mechanism you got the treads and you got these little things i wish he had more paint up here he's got a little silver on his chest it's not bad i'm gonna put a little decepticon symbol which i don't see any decepticon symbols on him that's weird i have to look again but i don't see anything you can move these up and down i wish they didn't stick out as far but you can move them which has some paint on there, that would have been cool. No waist swivel, would have been cool if he had a waist swivel, because it looks like he could have a waist swivel, but he just doesn't. Uh, go all the way out to here. I think these things go up, I think. Uh, yeah, I think they go up instead of down. Anyways, uh, he could do the full van down. But no ratchets. I wish they would have put some ratchets in there, but he can go all the way back and everything. Nice. Um, got some silver paint in there. And some different color plastic. It's pretty good. Thigh swivel. You can get a 90, almost 90 degree knee bend. Nothing. I, you can't have the feet. You know, the, this thing pugs. Pug, not pugs. <laughs> pegs in the back. So you can get a little up and down. Everything. But then, you know, you just kind of leave that, you know, fl flowing. And these things are really, they don't stay up that way. I wish they would have tabbed in or something. That would have been a lot better. Because both sides are like, you know, like that. So. You know, you can have some little feet move. I wish you had a rocker, but uh, if you just if you plug it in like it's supposed to be, then he won't have any y'all. And he's got some silver paint on his feet, which is good. Some silver on his knees and stuff. So there he is. So yeah, there's the back. Uh, he's got some waffles, just like always. Wish they get rid of those waffles. Ridiculous. But he cleans up pretty good in the back. You know, he has no not a big backpack at all, so cleans up pretty good. And I, I don't like the gun. I wish the gun would have pushed in. You know, or fold it up or something. It just, you know, you know what that looks like. Come on now. Just looks weird. So, you know, overall, not bad. So, there he is. All right. There he is with uh, the brawls I have of the movie. There's the two leader classes and the guy deluxe one. All right. And there he is with the other couple other studio series Decepticons. He got Blackout, Megatron, and Crowbar. I think that's one of his names. Next to uh, Crapagonics. Next to a can of sweet peas and carrots. And next to that utensil. Alright, overall thoughts on this guy. He's not bad. He's not terrible, but he's not great. He's fine. I'm, I'm, herp I'm happy. I say herpy. I'm happy with my purchase. But um, there's some just things that, you know, like in um, the, the uh, alt mode is pretty cool. I don't like where it doesn't connect in the back or you can't move the turret. I wish you could move the turret. But I, I like the paint on it. The camo really shines in that uh, mold and everything. And, you know, it looks like a cool tank. It's armed up. I, I like that. Transformation is pretty cool. It's, you know, it's not hard. It's not, you know, it's, and it's not easy. So there's a little, little things with the arms that you have to do and all that stuff. But it's not bad at all. Um, the robot mode, um, it's pretty nice, you know, he's got that droopy face, ooh, like that. Um, the paint is, you know, where it's at, it's pretty cool. I like the silver, you know, and the green, it matches real well, and they got, they got some gun metal, all the places and everything. Um, 
I don't like the arms. They're kind of wonky, and then you got all this kibble. I don't like that kibble right there. And, you know, with the hand, it's just stationary in there, all that stuff. And then you got this stuff back here. I wish that tabbed in. I wish the turret would push up or, you know, collapsed or something. So it didn't, you know, you know what that looks like, like I said. I don't like that. Uh, I wish these would stick in a little further, but, you know, it's not bad and everything. So articulation, you know, it's fine. I wish he had a waist swivel. That would have, I think he could have had a waist swivel. And um, I wish, you know, he had a rocker, just like all of them. And the waffles. He does have a lot of waffles in back. So, but, you know, that's what you come accustomed to with the um, Hasbro, you know, so far. So, well, you know, overall he's fine. He, he's a cool, he's a cool little thing. I like the, I'm liking the Ver, uh, Voyagers and the Leader Class of uh, Studio Series are really pretty good. So yeah, he's, he's up there. So I guess I'm done talking about this guy. Let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. I am the mighty Devastator. You will not destroy me. No, Michael Basin, I'm Devastator. No, Michael Bay said, I'm Devastator. What are y'all talking about? I'm Devastator. I'm Devastator too. What? No, none of y'all can be Devastator. I'm Devastator. No, you're Brawl. No, that one scene in a Transformer movie, I am Devastator. Brawl. Brawl. <laughs> y'all remember that scene where he's Devastator? And then the next movie, they have Devastator in it. Come on, Michael Bay, pay attention. All right, well, that's my little uh, review on um, Brawl. Like I said, it's not bad. He has some issues, but overall, he's he's pretty cool. I like him. I like him. So, go down here and hit me with some likes, some comments, all that good stuff. I'm almost at 1,000 subs. I really appreciate that. Uh, I guess I'll see you on the next review. And as always, hell, Hasbro, and good night, folks. Yeah, I'm Brawl. Mm-hmm. Mmm, beans and taters. <laughs>